What's up, guys? Sean here, aka I'm a Flying Midgey. Welcome back to some more Lumber Tycoon 2. This is going to be upload one of two for the day. Hopefully, you guys are pretty hyped for that. Um, again, I'm trying my best to do as many double uploads as I can this month of December. Um, so yeah, so we'll be we'll be having some fun. We'll be having some fun with that. But anyway, there's um, something pretty cool I want to be showing you guys today. Now it's been in the game for roughly three-ish days now, um, and uh, and I figured you know it's definitely time for me to kind of show you guys what's up, what what I think it is, what what, what it's about, kind of all this kind of fun stuff, guys. Now, um, as you can probably tell by the thumbnail of the video and then the um. And then the title, oh yeah, look, no uh, no progress so far. We'll be working on that today a little bit. But, um, yeah, as you guys can probably tell, um, it's it's this new honeycomb thing that everyone, all these kids are raving about these days. All these kids are raving about. All right, so let me let me show you where it's at. So, first of all, there's the base. Um, look, Looking so flossy. Look, Looking so flossy. All right, so you're going to come up onto the mountainside. Um, basically, as if you're going to go get some uh, some lava wood. And, essentially, there's this honeycomb thing. And I'm going to show it to you, and we're going we're gonna to kind of talk about it and stuff like that. But... Um, this was added in the game, I want to say, November 30th, I feel like. I feel like the last day of November. What's up, dude? What's up, Teddy? Um, I feel like, honestly, the last, I think it was implemented the 30th of November. So it's been about three days, I want to say. Um, and it is right here. Let's go doink, doink. So check out this little thing. It is a honeycomb that emits bees. Now, it doesn't do anything. There's, there's nothing that it does as of right now. As of right now, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't really do anything. There's this little hole on top. Kind of giving you guys the full kind of inspection kind of look right now. Um, it's it's okay, so it's called the honeycomb, right? And it, and it emits bees. You can kind of see these bees are flying out in this pattern or whatever, and they fly and then they disappear into this tree, right? Um, actually, I don't even know if they disappear disappear into this tree. Let's chop this bad boy down. Pretty sure they just disappear, but it looked like they're disappearing in this tree. Let's just go ahead and chop this freaking thing down. Kind of see what happens then. Give me that. Give me that. All right, so I'm pretty sure. Let's let's get a little closer. See see where they fly to. I think they end up just disappearing, honestly. There's no way it, it, they go somewhere right now. I don't think they're supposed to go somewhere right now. Yeah, they're not. I don't think so. No, okay. All right, so check it out. So here's here's the speculation on it. Essentially, it's for this Roblox event kind of thing that 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 might be happening. That might be happening. Um, and I don't I don't necessarily know all the details on it. This is kind of what I've seen, what I've kind of read, what I've kind of you know just kind of been been put out in the community. But basically. Um, this will be here until about the 10th of December for, so about the next week or so. Um, and eventually, I guess it's for this Beesmas, um, get it like Christmas, but Beesmas, Beesmas event. And essentially, I think these bees are supposed to lead you to some code in the game that unlocks some game that you can get somewhere else on Roblox. So it's like, this really intricate kind of pattern. That's kind of like the speculation for it. Um, what I think it should have been used for is if you popped out a candy cane axe, they'd all follow you because... Freaking candy cane axes are completely useless. It's almost coming up on a full year since those things have been added into the game and been completely useless. I'm telling you, development in this game is just, 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 just slowly, slowly slowing down. Um, which, which isn't necessarily amazing for us, for us lumber tycoon YouTubers. You know what I mean? Because what, what are we gonna make contact on? What, we're gonna look at this freaking bee. We're gonna look at these, these bees come out of this honeycomb. What the heck does this do? What does this do? Anyway, um, I'm just, I'm just messing around. I'm just messing around. But. Yeah, so I figured I'd show you guys this. So it's kind of a cool little Easter egg that I guess not a lot of people know about. I mean, it's still relatively new. It's only been in the game for a few days now, but um, a lot of people don't really know about this. And um, and I figured it'd be something that a lot of people would uh, would see and kind of check out. It should be um should be pretty cool once. Oh, I mean, hopefully once it has. I'm assuming it has a use. There's got to be a use for it. Um, it can't just be put in here just like for an Easter egg. I don't think Defaultio would do. I think it's got to have a use. So um, it'll be pretty cool when there's um when there's a use to it. And uh, and I think it'll be pretty sick. But I mean, honestly, that that's the honeycomb. That is literally it. I thought it'd be something a lot cooler than this, but it's, it's that 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 is it. Elfine, that is it. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we'll take this. Uh, oh, Teddy, you need a ride, big dog. You hop in, hop in, big dog. Hop in, Teddy. Oh, there you go, man. Um, yeah. So, uh, so I figured we you know we take the majority of this video to kind of um, continue building the parking lot and stuff like that. And if you guys haven't seen the base in a while, we got lots of progress going, lots of good stuff, and um, and honestly. Building now that we have that kind of sawmill set up, all, all kind of one by one little sawmill we did. Um, that I kind of did a tutorial ish thing like what, two weeks ago now, three weeks ago now? Go check that out if you haven't seen it. Um, that was, um, that, that, that's that been a huge help to the base. We've been kind of building stuff really quick. But we're going to kind of work on this parking lot kind of thing of a today. And again, this parking lot is for you dudes. So once this is done, this is where you guys will park your cars so cars don't get glitched and stuff like that. And I have a feeling one of you dudes left me an amazing comment. An amazing freaking comment. Um, saying, Midget, why are you using tiles? Why are you using tiny tiles? You should just be using posts. And I thought to myself, well, that's a waste of wood. And then I was like, well, wait a minute. It's all the same price. So literally, I could be doing that 
and then like just using post and everything will be so much easier I don't know why I didn't think of that before I'm sorry I didn't screenshot your comment and put it up I was scrolling through them on my phone and I, I remembered that and I was like that is a genius idea so whoever comments that Kudos to you. I appreciate you. You're going to save me loads of time. But that's what we're going to be kind of working on today. And I appreciate all the comments on the last video as well about how the system doesn't cut the end times wood. And that's because only an end times axe cuts end times wood. So, um, yeah, that's kind of a bummer because it makes us go a lot freaking slower over here. I actually have to cut my own wood. What is this, Lumber Tycoon 2 or something? Come on. I'm just kidding. All right, so we're going to start um, We're gonna start kind of filling this in today. I'm hoping to get, I, I, I mean, this is, a, this is a stretch goal, but I'm hoping to get about half of the parking lot done. And by half the parking lot, I mean like spaces, decor, like get pretty much everything. Well, maybe not decorations, because that's kind of something you gotta do at the very end. But basically, I want to get this kind of um this parking spot done, and then kind of maybe figure out the plan and, and maybe do the scaffolding and stuff. I don't know. We'll kind of see. We'll kind of see what it what it um what it kind of gets to today and stuff like that, guys. But um I do want to know your guys' feedback, guys. I'm giving me some great feedback on the um on the base and stuff like that. You know I love I love your guys' feedback. So definitely comment down below some um some stuff you're feeling about the base, like which project I should work on next. If you think um if you think this parking lot needs to be kind of Updated a little bit if you think there needs to be I don't know maybe like a little convenience store next to it for you guys to get some Some freaking burgers and french fries while you park your car and chill at my base. I don't know I mean fill me and let me know in the comments. You know, what I mean, All right, we're gonna go wedges. We're gonna go I'm pretty sure it's this kind right here. Yep, and we're gonna fill this guy in with a bond on an odd wood Put that right there, and I think we already have some cut up. Although I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, we got a little bit cut up Okay, maybe not maybe not. Um, yeah, we got yeah, yeah, Kind of all right, let me grab this. Let's, let's go use this stuff up first. I do like the color scheme of this. It is also really nice at night. So I was kind of nervous. That's why I didn't want to necessarily use end times wicks. I was like, I should just use birch. It, it, it'll be brighter at night. But honestly, I think it looks better because it kind of gives contrast to the whole base. Like, look at that. That contrast is perfect. And then during the day, it kind of shines bright, you know? It's like shine bright like a diamond, you know what I mean? And it looks looks legit. All right, so here's kind of what I'm going to do. Actually, you know what? We should do our, should we do our floors first. Maybe we should fill in our floors first. This kind of gives us a nice little, nice little kind of blueprint. Boom. But I love, honestly, building in this game is so much better. I freaking love the fact that the Faultio added that in. Seriously. I mean, there might not be a ton of development stuff going on in the game right now. Oh, we're getting a little bit of lag. Um, you might not be getting a ton of development stuff in the game right now, but you, we, we got all, we got all say, you know. It was, it was quite the luxury of him to, uh, to add in the creative mode kind of thing. It makes this game actually make me want to play it a little more, you know what I mean? Because holy cow, holy freaking cow. I feel like I talk about that that creative mode thing in almost every single video of mine of Lumber Tycoon. It's just because it's, it's it makes such a big impact on the game. Come on now. Come on now. Also, I just realized you dudes must have been feeding me money again. Because I looked up at the scoreboard the other day, and I got $9.4 million. I don't know how I already have $9.4 million. I just spent a ton of money on getting creative mode in, uh, in Lumber Tycoon. So... You guys are freaking nuts. You guys are nuts. I feel like you guys definitely want to see this base completed, and so do I. And I think we're actually going to be able to do it. Like, no joke, I think it'll actually happen. It would be nuts if it happened before 2018, because then it'd be like, oh, dude, you know, New Year's gift kind of thing, but it's not going to happen. I'm going to need more than a month to finish this bad boy, but who knows, you know? Um, we're going to be kind of doing, doing as many double uploads as I can on the channel this month, so maybe we'll be doing Lumber Tycoon twice a week, or maybe like a Lumber Tycoon once a week and then a live stream. Oh, dudes, get out of town. What do you guys want to see more? You guys want to see some double uploads, like videos? Or do you guys want to see, like, maybe a video and then a live stream that day as well? Like, who knows? You know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be really grinding out on YouTube. I'm really going to be, um, really going to be making some, some swag content for you dudes. And it's going to be lots of fun this December, you know? So, um, so yeah, so let me know. Do you guys want to see maybe, like, two uploads a day? Or, like, an upload and a live stream? Or maybe just, like, I don't know, two live streams? Is that crazy? I think that's crazy. That's crazy talk. That Creek's the only one who does that. That's crazy talk. That is crazy talk. All right, we're going to go ahead and fill in another little Post Malone right here. This honestly saves so much time. I don't know why I was using tiles. I, I don't know why, honestly, but thank you for saving my freaking life because this, this saves us so much time. Holy cow, look at this. Look at how much quicker we're going. No need no need for the freaking tiny tiles. That was so dumb of me. All right, we're going to see if I can sink this guy. Anything I can sink him in? Hoop. Sink it. Sink it. Send it, midget. No, that's definitely above it. Huh. Why are you not, why are you not sinking in there? Man, imagine doing this with tiny tiles. It is frustrating. Oh, come on. And boom. Okay. All right, sunk that one in. Let's go ahead and place this guy right there. There we go. Oh, God, dude. This is this is being put up so much quicker. I don't know why I didn't think about um, about the, the posts and just using regular things. It's weird because I'm so used to always, like, saving wood, save wood, save wood, save wood. But right now, it's like... Use the biggest freaking blueprint possible, no matter how much wood it is, because it's always going to be the same amount. It's always going to be the same amount, you know what I mean? 
Alright, I feel like we can cut this one and maybe make it work with that other little piece right there. But that, that, that's a risky business. We're gonna, we're gonna try it though. We're gonna try it. How did I also end this one? Did it work out perfectly? Oh no, it didn't. Just okay, so I'll need like one tiny tile. Those can still be posts over there. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and chop this guy up. We're gonna chop her up to like right there. I hope this is good. Oh, nice. This might actually be solid. Okay, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually put another post in right here. So we can fill this all in with some end times. We'll go grab a... Gosh dang it. We'll go grab another another little... Uh, no, oh, look at that. Already putting the parking garage to work. I see you, Teddy. Good work. Good work, bud. Oh, we're going to do that. Look at how much nicer it is now. Now the base just looks better. It works perfect. Look at that. Look at that. I freaking love it. I'm working on it, boys. I'm trying to get you guys your own parking lot. You know what I mean? The Midget Army gets private parking at this place. I don't know if you guys heard of that, but... Midget Army gets private parking. I don't know about any of them Cineac dudes. No, I'm just kidding. All right, we're going to go ahead and throw this bad boy right there. Hopefully, those two will make one. We'll see. I need to snag some end times, though. We need a little more end times wood. Kind of, do I have any, um, what's going on here? We got a little, got a little glitch happening. Got a little glitch happening. What's going on? What's going on? I feel like I definitely have lots of end times wood. I just don't have any out right now. What's going on here? What's going on here? What's, maybe that, maybe that was there when it loaded in. Uh, I'm really confused. Is this... Is this sob? No, it's still working. Why isn't it cutting this? That is so weird. Um, hello? That's so weird. What if I just, like, place it right on it? That is so weird. I don't know why that saw is not actually chopping it up. What? I found a ghost plank. I'm just kidding. I don't know what the heck. That is so weird. Can I chop it? That is very, 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 very interesting. Okay, anyway, let's get back to what we're doing with the end times wood. That was that was eye-opening for sure. We're going to go ahead and snag, um, I guess we'll just start snagging. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to turn it into one by one anyway. And I have to chop it manually because apparently, well, I guess, guess this sawmill doesn't even cut regular regular piece of wood now. What the heck? All right, chop that in there. I feel like I just got to turn it off, turn it back on. I feel like that might fix it. Oh, gosh, I fell. Um, where's the switch right here? Toggle it. There we go. Toggle it back on. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that'll, that'll do... I mean, he's not going to cut this piece of wood because this piece of wood is end times wood. And only, the only thing that cuts end times wood is an end times axe. You know what I mean? Who, who didn't know that? Not me because I totally knew that. No, just kidding. <laughs> oh, man, dudes. I like having fun with you guys. I like having fun with you guys. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's try to finish up this uh, this little parking spot thingamajig. Um, yeah, this, this is the one unit chopper, though. One unit chopper. Let's grab this. This is a decent, decently sized, uh, decently sized piece. I pretty sure we'll be able to finish it just depends on this back line see kind of how how much it's going to take us don't fill in any blueprints there we go um yeah i feel like this might actually last us for this this whole piece right here but we got to also put our little guardrails in before we start the next one so we don't mess anything up and then once i get all that in dude i'm going to start doing um i'm going to start doing a little decorating i'm going to start doing just a little bit of decorating trying to make this parking lot look a lot better for you guys and hopefully honestly i really hope you guys actually use this parking lot um also i keep feeling like i'm saying parking garage i don't know either way Maybe I'll build you guys a little garage. No, just kidding. Um, but I don't. I don't. I, I. I really want you guys to actually use this because I don't want cars getting glitched out on my plot anymore. And it's honestly not as bad. So if you guys have been watching the series, the OG viewers, once you've been watching the series since literally episode one, will be like, "All right, I understand your frustration of the freaking base just absolutely glitching out and going going completely haywire." Because when I didn't have these walls up, it's so nice having the walls up now. When I didn't have the walls up, everyone would just drive on the base, which is totally cool. Come saying hi, what's up? But then trucks would get glitched, and people would log off the servers, and then the trucks would be mine, and it was this huge issue. Now, we don't really have the issue anymore, you know, it's, 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 it's working, it's working. Okay, we're going to do that, 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 and then we can even do a post right there. Yeah, let me, let me get a little post Malone. Let me throw a post right here, and that will all be end times, and I feel like, I feel like I should use a, a, a wall, honestly, if it, like one wall would fill that in. With less amount of wood. But the grain would be going the opposite way. So I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I want to do that. I want to make the grain of the, the grain of the wood all go in the same way, you know. You got you to make it look good. got to make it look good for the dudes. Although I will say the very end when we put in these posts at the very end. The grain will not be going the right way. But that is okay because I'm not doing one by one tiles again. That took way too freaking long. I don't even know why I was thinking about doing one by one tiles. One by one, like tiles in general. Tiles should not be used unless you absolutely have to use a tile. Because you could just use a large floor and it'll be it'll cover so much more room, you know what I mean? I mean it does like both sides of it. It's like it's just so much more efficient. Alright, what do we get? We need two more. 
Okay, so this will finish us out for here, but not going to finish us out with the other posts we put down. Hey, you know what? Solid progress, though. Solid freaking progress. Honestly, though, can you... I, I want to know also... I don't know if I mentioned this. Um, I want to know your guys' feedback in the comments down below about the honeycomb. Like, what do you guys think about it? What do you guys think it is? Um, I kind of told you, like, what I've read up and what I think it's probably going to be used for, but we don't necessarily know for sure just yet um, at the time I'm recording this video. So let me know. I want to know what your guys' uh, opinions are. Are you like, yo, it's literally useless. Trust me, it's just there for looks. Or do you think, like, hey, look... I think it's actually gonna do something. Like, like, let me know. Let me know in, uh, let me know in the comments down below. You know what I mean? Oh, we'll do a tiny uh, floor right there, and that'll be, uh, that'll be all legit. Let's throw this guy in here. Good doink. All right, so we're gonna need a little bit more end times, and we'll need a tiny bit more, but not and then that'll be full send, and we'll grab some, uh, some of the generic wood. All right, so I'm gonna grab. First off, I'm just gonna grab one of these guys. We're gonna need tons of this eventually, so you might as well just get some of our fat pieces out there. No point in making all these trips, you know. I feel like I might need to go get some more end times soon. Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe. It would have been really sick, honestly, it would have been really cool if the, the base, the birch, was end times. But that would have been a little bit, uh, a little bit too much for me. Oh, come on. Come on, guy. There we go. There we go. I wonder if that chops wood now. I really hope so. I mean, I mean that's what it's there for. Alright, we need some bond and all wood. Um, we don't need a ton, but I am going to need some for the next one anyway, so we'll just use this guy. What is this, palm wood? Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Alright, let's throw this guy in here, too. So, yeah. Solid progress going. It's it's really weird um, to actually be able to say that there's solid progress going on in this base. Because honestly, most of the series has been like not progress at all. It's been like, yeah, we're, we're kind of building. We put like another 20 wedges down, but that took us like four hours. So, shoot, man. I can't wait to start building in here, though. Like actually doing some fun stuff in our base. We put up our walls. We, we, we got the structure of the, of the, um, the base pretty much done besides that kind of parking parking spots back there um parking lot but anyway uh then we can start working on it in here we can start doing some more decoration like i showed you guys in the last video of lumber tech and we kind of did some minor kind of just tweaking to make stuff look better but i really haven't even gotten into anything at all about about really decorating and making this thing look good like those stairs look weak the the, the railway looks pretty weak too might do like some sideways ladders and do like kind of like a half wall um we'll kind of we'll, we'll kind of have to see we'll have to play that one by ear oh give me this come here come here that thing won't chop you come here I said, I said, come here. I said, I said, wait, what? Why are you stuck? Why? What is going on today? What is going on today with this? Why is that thing stuck? Go that way here. You know what? Want to play, want to play hardball? I'll play hardball with you, man. Hopefully that still doesn't get stuck. And chop. Are we getting lag? Is that what it is? Yeah, that's totally lag right now. There we go. Okay, give me this guy. Thank you very much. Take this. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, we'll just leave you right there. Leave you right there. Where did that other piece go? Is it still stuck? Holy freaking cow. Come on now. Come on now. What the heck's going on? What the heck is going on today? Now, I hope that bond and I would actually cuts up there. We don't need it to because, like, it's literally, like, one-hit chop. But it would be nice if my system actually worked. Like, what's going on? What's going on, Saw? I don't know why you're not chopping, dude. Why you not chop? Why, why you no chop? I've been paying you good money for this. Come on now. All right, let's throw this guy out here. Oh, rip. Throw this guy out here. And this should, um, I mean, at least this parking space will be definitely done today. Um, well, I shouldn't say definitely because if it doesn't, then that'd be kind of awkward. But it should, okay, that's not the chop I was looking for. Look at, look at where I'm aiming and look at where that chop was. Absolutely freaking ridiculous, Lumber Tycoon. Absolutely freaking ridiculous. All right, we're going to chop this bad boy in. There we go. Hopefully that's enough. There we go, nice. And then we'll chop like a little itty bitty guy. Like, uh, I don't know if that's enough. We'll see. We'll see, but okay, so this, this flooring will definitely be done, and then hopefully we'll be able to place our kind of, like, border kind of guardrail things in. Oh, yeah, this should be good. There we go. And then this guy will go full send over there. There we go. And we'll use that one for the next one. All right, so we're going to need one bond and all wood, a bond and all wood, and then um, we need, I, I don't remember what that wood's called, but, like, the super generic wood. All right, is this thing, what happened? Where's my, oh, did it get stuck? What the heck be going on right here? Are you okay, dude? Let me help you. Let me just give you a little, little, little push. All right, so now we need some of this wood over here. Is that the same wood as that? That looks like it. We need that wood right here. So I'm going to go ahead and chop. I'm going to go ahead and bite off a piece of this because we'll need some of these bad boys. I'll throw it to the sawmill. Hopefully it starts chopping it up. I don't know why the sawmill's not working. I might need to, like, reload my base or something like that. Very weird. Very weird glitch. What's Lumber Tycoon 2 without bugs and glitches? Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. All right, we'll, we'll throw this guy on the conveyor. Give me you. Give me you. Give me you. Throw that over there, and that should be solid. All right. I don't understand why this saw is legit not cutting. 
It makes no sense. It's got to be, like, some sort of just bug. Some sort of bug right now that I just need to, like... Like, why? It hurts me, but it doesn't chop. Well, let me see if... Like, do, do these... Is it, like, just, like, a... A saw problem, or is it like just that saw? That's really strange. I don't understand. Maybe you just let me know. I don't think anything's changed, though. Like, is that chopping that? No. That's weird. Wait, actually, saw, saw, wait, saws are legit not working. Like, my base saws are not working. I don't understand that. Very strange. Interesting bug. Interesting bug. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's place our little tiny floor right here. Floors, tiny floor. Sink this guy in the gap. There we go. Okay, and then we'll chop her up, and th that's it for the floor. We just need to kind of put on our little guardrails. Oh, that might not be enough. Oh, rip me. Rip me, midget. Oh, dang it. Hoop. Thank you. Oh, not that one. Thank you. Okay. All right, so that is full send over there. Now let's go ahead and just place these blueprints in. If we don't get them all filled in, then no worries, but... I'd like to get them all filled in. If not, it won't take very long to fill them in. But we don't have our we don't have our, our chop saw working right now. I know the chop saws are freaking working. Oh, that's annoying. I did that. I forgot about that. Uh, if I do short smooths, will that work per perfectly? Oh, actually, I don't need to. I can just keep it going because it's gonna be it's just gonna keep going. It's just gonna keep going. Boom. And then I'm gonna do a one block gap there. Wait, is it one block? Yeah, one block gap. And then there's a one, two, three, four, four block gap. One two three four and place right there okay that should be the perfecto kind of little scaffolding right there there we go okay we'll place this guy all the way to here and there we go okay and then we'll just need a tiny little piece right there and then we'll be solid nice okay i want to get these away from this but um should i put that through there i don't know all right so that's actually pretty legit whoa dude hey this isn't that it's under construction teddy easy hey yeah, teddy this crazy guy crazy guy crazy guy crazy guy Alright, where are we at with this thing? Is this is this not even going through here? Where what the what the heck? I feel like I should honestly just place it through here. And I should change the settings of this sawmill. But I don't want to mess up my long plank and I cause I always forget the settings, you know? So I feel like I'm just gonna leave that and it's gonna produce a pretty long freaking wood. But that's okay. Um can you I should I should really upgrade this sawmill too. But oh well. I don't really like need to, I just should. Alright, that's gonna poop out a seriously long log, and I'll have to just kind of fill in these um fill in these kind of blueprints and stuff like that. But I'll have to do that later. I don't really I don't really think we're gonna be able to do that right now. But no worries, we got him. we got basically this parking spot done pretty quickly. Um we'll be able to start decorating. Hopefully this parking spot will be done by next video, hopefully. But yeah, dudes, that is gonna do it for today. Hopefully you guys um kind of learned something new with that whole honeycomb thing that was over there. Um again, very interesting update kind of thing pushed into the game don't really know for sure what it's going to be yet but you know that's kind of my speculation let me know what you guys think about it down below what, what you guys are kind of thinking it's for and all that kind of stuff and, and, and whatnot but that is going to do it for today guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did smash that like button and until next time guys if you haven't already make sure you be fly and subscribe